بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى السلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين In one of the previous talks we talked about the types of Tawheed and you mentioned that Tawheed is categorized into three, three categories Tawheed is that the belief that Allah Ta'ala in His essence is one Tawheed is Sifat, the belief that Allah Ta'ala in His qualities is alone. So those qualities which belong to Allah Ta'ala alone, we don't give it to any of His creation. For example, the belief that Allah Jalla wa'ala encompasses all knowledge of the unseen. This is a quality which solely belongs to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. This does not belong to any of His creation. And Tawheed Af'al. عدم نسبة التأثير إلى غير الله which is not to attribute تأثير and effect to anyone but Allah so you believe that the cause of everything is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a person does not believe that paracetamol cures him rather he believes it is Allah's hukam that cures him this is tawheed af'al and friends to understand the importance of Tawheed, one has to realize that the Qur'an, many scholars of Aqidah and Tafsir mention, that approximately 5,000 verses of the Qur'an talk about Tawheed. And the Qur'an mentions, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولِ إِلَّا نُوحِ إِلَيْهِ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنَا فَعْبُدُونَ The Qur'an mentions, we did not send any Rasul except we reveal to him there is no God but me so worship me so every message that came he came with one message that there is no God no one worthy of worship beside Allah there is no ilah beside Allah in the hadith of Bukhari a Muslim when the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu an to Yemen the first advice given to Mu'adh radiallahu an was you are going to the people of Kitab. You are going to ahl Kitab. So call them to the worship of one Allah. And when we look at the da'wat of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Quraysh, they offered the Messenger alayhi salam kingship. They offered him leadership. They offered him wealth. They offered him wives so that he would abandon the call to Tawheed. And the Messenger والسلام, said, that if these people were to place the sun in my right hand and the moon in my left hand, I would not abandon the call to Tawheed. This is the importance of Tawheed. وَمَنْ يَبْتَغِي غَيْرَ الْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا فَلَنْ يُقَبَلَ مَنْ That whoever searches, adopts a deen other than Islam, it will never be accepted. Inna dina عِنْدَ اللَّهِ islam That the only faith accepted by Allah is Islam. And Islam, my friends, is based on Tawheed. The belief in one Allah. Asking your needs from one Allah. And the Qur'an talks about this. The Qur'an says, قُلْ أَرَأَيْتُمْ إِنْ جَعَلَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكُمُ اللَّيْلِ سَرْمَدًا إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ مَنْ إِلَاهٌ غَيْرُ اللَّهِ يَأْتِيكُمْ بِضِيَاءَ فَلَا تَسْمَعُونَ Allah challenges insan, that oh insan, if Allah Ta'ala was to bring it night to the day of Qiyamah, what God, what deity, what idol is there beside Allah that could bring you day? Afala tasma'oon. And then the Father Quran says, Qul ara'aytum in ja'alallahu alaykum al nahar ila yawm al qiyamah. مَنْ إِلَاهٌ غَيْرُ اللَّهِ يَأْتِيكُمْ بِلَيْلٍ تَسْكُنُونَ فِيهِ أَفَلَا تُبَصِرُونَ The Qur'an repeatedly challenges insan. The O insan, if Allah Ta'ala was to bring it day to the day of Qiyamah, is there a God besides Allah that could bring you night in which you take rest? أَفَلَا تُبَصِرُونَ O insan, do you not see? أَمَّنْ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَأَنزَلَ لَكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَأَنبَتْنَا بِهِ حَدَائِقَ ذَاتَ بَهْجَةٍ 
ما كان لكم أن تنبتوا شجرها أإلهم مع الله. The Quran repeats this, that who is the one who created the heavens and the earth and sent down water from the sky and through that very water Allah Ta'ala created gardens of splendid beauty. مَا كَانَ لَكُمْ أَن تُنْبِتُوا شَدَرَهَا O insan, Allah created gardens of beauty. O insan, it is not in your power to even create one tree. أَإِلَاهُمْ مَعَ اللَّهُ Allah asks, is there anyone worthy of worship besides Allah? If Allah is doing all of this, then how can the insaniyat turn to someone besides Allah for worship? If Allah is doing all of this, how can insan ask for his hajat from a being other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So friends, Tawheed is the main belief in Islam. Without Tawheed, there is no najat. There is no salvation on Qiyamah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us firm on Tawheed. Wa akhiru da'wana. Alhamdulillah.